bug out moto hey folks if you missed a tour of my bug out moto van click below to watch now or click on the link in the description section tell you guys that digital antenna on the roof is awesome man they're fixing some breakfast here some cheerios and bananas and some eggs here just poured it off onto the plate and it's almost the pans clean <laughs> that's awesome you are free she's free hey guys the reason why hey guys the reason why I I have to cage my dog is uh, this is a Basenji please do your research on a Basenji and you'll understand why you have to create these dogs especially when they're young um, especially the females I've owned two Basenjis in the past and the females they never settle down they will not sit down they always into something these dogs will destroy stuff I have a lot of wiring here guys I cannot let this dog roam here while I'm driving this is to to keep her safe while I'm driving and also when I'm cooking and getting you know getting ready to go to the bathroom stuff like that when I need to do stuff she has to spend time in her cage if she does if, if I don't put her in a cage I'll get nothing done I'm not gonna be able to cook see look at this look see that she chewed one of those wires and she can get electrocuted no joke she would destroy this van if I did not have the cage I'm hoping as she gets older that I, she'll be more settled down but even at home she's all over the place and this is the only way I can exert control over but this is like I said these Basenjis on a scale of 0 to 10 for trainability they are a zero they even have a Basenji rescue um, place because a lot of people abandon these dogs a lot of people get these dogs because they uh, hey hey no no because they they're, they're very hard to train uh, you know a lot of people get these dogs because they don't smell they don't bark um, they're fairly mute most of the time uh, but they don't realize that these dogs are so hard to train you know see that look sit hey sit stay calm if you stay calm skittles you get more freedom time but you you don't so that's why you have to be put in a cage you know to protect your safety too because if you chew one of these wires you're gonna get electrocuted so for you animal rights activists out there and do some research because you don't know Basenjis you have to understand what with the Basenji they have to be created see look at this see imagine me trying to cook and she's snooping around there chewing on a wire or something the lights go out uh, she gets electrocuted or something you know so you guys understand but I do let her out when I'm not cooking or I'm not doing editing on the computer hey hey editing on the computer or doing something whatever then I let her out I take her for walks you know this rest stop is really nice because it has a uh, a pet park here and I always take her every you know every uh, stop I make I definitely I take her for walks long walks uh, and of course you know I have to take her out to go to the bathroom often so and in the van I let her loose too you know if I'm you know freed up otherwise if I'm doing something I have to put her in the cage so you know what this reminds me of out here in Iowa these cornfields reminds me of children of the corn Malachi <laughs> I love it out here, man. This, this air is just beautiful. Nice and fresh. Feels nice and wholesome out here. Unlike the gritty city of Cleveland. I love the country. Look at that. I ought to walk through the corn stalks. Look for Malachi and the children of the corn. Hi, Skittles! You're happy, aren't you, Skittles? You're looking at the glass half full, not half empty, right? You're just appreciative of another day and your happy dog. <laughs> huh? Going to a uh, out west with my dirt bike. Okay. Uh huh. Well, we just got a call about something strange in the front seat, so. Oh, that's a dirt bike, yeah. It's a dirt bike? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I set this up as a, um, I camp out in it with my motorcycle. Really? Yeah. 
Yeah, I got. I have cameras all around there's too. There's no seat in it. Yeah, there's no seat. I got you. Oh, bed folds down. Yeah. It's got refrigerator, freezer. That is sweet. Um, got a wash up of, at the sink. I yeah. got a shower. Wash oh. up at the sink or pull it out as a shower in back of the van. Huh? Yeah. Whoop. Where are you headed to ride? Uh, I'm just. I'm headed out Wyoming. Uh, Colorado, all all through the Rocky Mountains. Uh, pretty sweet. Alrighty. Well, oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Sure, uh, sure. Can no I get problem. your ID card just sure, to put sure. it in the call for, real quick? Sure, hold on. Somebody actually called it in and said you had a body wrapped in a canvas <laughs> strapped in your front seat. So. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. With a with a rope around its neck. So. Yeah, I just that's a cycle sack. And I have carbon huh. filters on it so it doesn't smell like a motorcycle. And I also oh, have, really? Yeah, and I have vents too on the roof, but yeah. Pretty sweet setup. It's a dirt bike going? in the front seat. It's a camper van sure. set up with a motorcycle. This is a fold down bed. Huh? Yeah, I got a 32 inch TV that folds out here too. All right. Yeah. And uh, take a shower. I just pulls off here. I could wash up at the sink or pull this off. And, uh, Take a shower and back. Sure. Yeah. How much water do you store in here then? Uh, seven gallons, but I have a, a six gallon backup there. And I have a five gallons of drinking water with a hand pump right here for drinking water. Five gallons with a hand pump there. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and then seven gallons, and I have a hot water heater. This is all solar. It got 570 watts of solar up here. Yeah. And that's an awning that turns into a room. Sure. Thank you, sir. Sure, no Have problem. A good day. Somebody called. Some dude kept looking at my van, and and he called. Uh, that must have been the guy who called the cops on me, and he, he thought there was a body in the front seat of my van. <laughs> <laughs> a body bag. I mean, come on, man. Would I would I really put if, if would somebody really put a dead body and a body bag in the front seat in a van with no windows? That's, come on, man, it's common fucking sense. I don't know, man, maybe the guy was just being an asshole and thought it'd be funny to call the cops on me or something, I don't know. That's the first time that ever happened. But right now, I'm on the road to nowhere. I don't know where the hell I'm going, like I told you before. I'm just driving, man, just driving. Headed to the Rocky Mountains, somewhere. Hopefully the weather will be good wherever I'm going. I just can't wait to break out my bike already and start riding, man. I don't want to ride out here. I don't know. No offense to you guys in Iowa, but it just looks like nothing but cornfields out here. <laughs> I know there's more to it because Ohio probably looks that way too when you're driving on the highway. Then I have to park in a camp spot um, because if I, you know, I don't want to like park on government land and then leave my van and go ride and then get lost and can't find my way back to my van. Yeah, I know you can do the whole GPS coordinates and all that, but I don't trust a GPS like that. That I don't have that much trust in a GPS. Where I can just head off and then be motor vlogging out there without a care in the world and then like, oh shit, how do I get back to my van? <laughs> Call the police and say, hey man, I can't find my van. I don't know how to get back to it. Okay, where were you at last? I don't know. So, I'm only going to pull the bike out when I'm at RV parts that has an address so that I can easily get back to it. Uh, I may do, if, if, if I do ride on government land, it's going to be around the van. Like I'm not going to leave sight of the van. This area here, I'm somewhere in freaking Nebraska. And I'll tell you guys that it is dark as fuck out here, man. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what this camera can pick up at night here, but it is freaking, and there's like the entrance to this motel that I'm going to a day's end. I had to go through this old ass, uh, this gas station abandoned, and it's like really dark. Reminds me of a freaking horror movie or something. <laughs> Fuck, dude. The dude saw me at the front desk. I don't think I'm going to be able to Pull it off over here. I'm gonna have to get back on the highway and try to find another joint. This ain't gonna work. 
tell you, you gotta be smart about it. I tell you guys, because these people will call the cops on you. And cops will come and bang on your your van at freaking three o'clock in the morning when you're half asleep. It's never happened to me, but I've seen it happen to a lot of guys. So, and I'm I'm cautious messing with these little like motels. I usually go with the big chain, hol you know, like Holiday Inn or you know, big chain hotels. Uh, this is a big chain motel but it's a small operation here and as you drive in he can see who's coming in here at the lobby so I don't know if you can see that see that guy's head over there see he's he's waiting for me and then he'll come banging on my door call the police screw that you gotta find the next spot alright guys picked a nice little little hotel motel here this one I should be able to get by with and it's got grass here in the back so I can take the dog to go to the bathroom let me check it out 14 channels here in backwoods one of them is forensic files free local channels is that awesome or what tell you guys that that little digital antenna was the best investment one of the best investments I made with this van because I, I love watching TV while I eat my meals you know cook and eat my meals and stuff before I hit the sack don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel over at youtube.com forward slash cycle cruiser and also like me at Facebook. Catch you guys later.